Okay. South? Okay. Let's figure out... Let's make the... Underneath. This is our centering point. So what we need to do here is we need to go four blocks south and four blocks west. And that'll create our spawn room. So hey guys, it's Toby back on another beautiful day in Minecraft Alpha. And today we're going to do something that I said I was going to do. And I'm going to follow through. And this time we're going to do a mechanical episode. No adventuring, no caving. No building, no story time failing. Today is a mechanical episode, and all I have to do is find the cave where I found the monster spawner, go there, and yeah, trap it. I'm not sure how else I'm supposed to say that. So I believe this is the cave. You walk down here. Yes, this is the cave. This is the cave where I blocked it off with a stupid cobblestone. And there's some coal I missed, and I've been needing coal. So I'm going to go grab that. Now let's just go down into the cave. There's the lava flow, which means the spawner should be just ahead. But, oh wait, no, 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 I'm an idiot. Stop being stupid, Toby, stop being stupid. It's where the lava is that you have to go get the spawner. There it is. Right there. Nice and trapped. So I think... Uh, I feel like a cheapskate doing this. I'm not going to bore you guys by collecting coal like that. Today is a trap day. Now, one thing I have to figure out is which way is south. And which way is west. Because if I... I, I need to find out that because... the I, I need to make the spawner room 8x8. Eight and in the southwest direction, you need to make it four blocks each way. And in the northeast direction, it's three blocks. And it's just a square. And then the spawner height and one block above the spawner. And I'm going to make it two blocks just because the zombies need are too high and need two to spawn. So let's just uh, figure out which way I need to go. So, is that... Uh, I always have this problem with the sun. Okay, the sun is rising in the east. That way is west. The clouds. Yep, that's north. Okay. So I need to find out which way is south and which way is west. So north is this way. North is that wall. Everybody remember that north is on that wall. You see, I would press the F3 screen to get the double negative coordinates, but yeah, there are no coordinates yet. And I'm not going to use mods. So... I'm going to do this in any way possible. Crap, which way is north? <laughs> oh, you guys. You guys are yelling at me. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to know which way is north. Okay. Going back. Which way is frickin' north? Okay. That way is north, that way is north, that way is north. Come on, Toby, you've got to remember this. We're so close. Don't get distracted by tangents. That wall is north. Okay, don't get distracted. That way is north. That way is north. I need to go south and west. This way is north. Okay. South? Okay. Let's figure out... Let's make the... Underneath... This is our centering point. So what we need to do here is we need to go four blocks south and four blocks west. And that'll create our spawn room. So let's map this out. One, two, three, four. So we need to take out that wall. And we're going to need to go one, two, three, four. Take out that wall. One, two, three. One, two, three. So we're just going to have to remove this wall. I'm going to have to make it out of cobblestone because it's the best building material I have right now. And let's fill this in. So this is going to be our spawn room. I have buckets of water with me. 
Oh, I'm an idiot. I said I was going to take that out, and I'm going to take it out. So you get to watch me take down a wall. So the reason, so what happens when you want a spawner is ooh, iron. You want to trap it and harvest its resources. Now you may, may be wondering, uh, why would I ever want a zombie spawner in Minecraft Alpha? All they drop are feathers. Well, I'll tell you why feathers are useful. Believe it or not, you guys may not know this since you guys have all your, you should have all your high-tech fancy gadgets where you kill skeletons in your main world. Otherwise, go make one. And uh, if you don't know how to make one, keep watching. So, you just kill skeletons, and that's how most people tend to get arrows. But you also get arrows very easily by, uh, well, by combining flint, a stick, and a piece of feather. Yeah, that made sense. Okay, you need a yeah flint on top stick in the middle uh feather on bottom and you make an arrow and the reason why i'm saying this is because you probably already know that but a lot of people don't because chickens are pretty difficult to find i mean you may spawn with a bunch of chickens and you can easily start a chicken farm but if you don't spawn near chickens you have to go a really long way before you find more and so what you have to do is you have to just go around and all over the map, as I said in my earlier episodes, you have to walk like thousands of blocks before new mobs, before you unload the chunks and new mobs spawn, and it's really annoying to have to just go that far just to get something that may just be another pig instead of instead of chickens. So it's really hard to get feathers until you have found enough eggs to create a chicken farm. But in this. I can, I'll just never have to kill chickens ever, ever again. The chicken population is safe once I build this trap. It's also starting to rain outside my house. So, that's unpleasant. It's, uh, I woke up in the middle of the night last night. There was a huge thunderstorm. And I believe a bolt of lightning struck our house. I, it was louder than any th bolt of lightning I've ever heard. So now I've got the spawn room dimensions up. And the zombies are going to spawn at this height and one height up, and then they need an extra block for their head. And that rain is very annoying. I'm going to try and do everything I can to make sure that's not captured, but... You know what? You may have to deal with a little natural weather. It's better than the Minecraft rain, which is just annoying. Boy, that is really loud. God. Okay. I'll try and, uh, I'll try and fix the sound so that you don't hear it. Alright, you know what? Th that rain is ridiculous. Uh, I'll, I'll continue recording as soon as the rain goes away. I'm back, guys. The beeping was me setting an alarm. No time has passed. I'd... I well, no time has passed in the Minecraft world, so you guys didn't miss anything. So what you have to do, as I was saying, is you have to make this 8x8 room, and the monsters will spawn here. Right now, I think I have it lit up enough so that the monsters shouldn't spawn. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to trap monsters. So, first what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to create water area that pushes them. So this will, by itself, create an infinite source, and I may have not put enough light in here. Hopefully that'll be enough light. If anything spawns in here, that's not good. So, what you have to do here is I just create an infinite water source again. If you have a first running block running into another first running block, it'll create a source block. So you see this is a source block this is a first running block. This is a source block that's going to create a first running block. That is now a source block. I hope you understood that because that was hard for even me to follow. So now I just put one there and I put one there. And now it'll always push monsters there. What this will do now is now we're going to just have to, it'll just stop there. And all the monsters will be pushed right here. 
So this is part one. The next part will mean that we're going to have to uh, dig out a little hole right here. The water again will not flow because it can only travel eight blocks. So you just dig one, two, three, four, five, six, a seven, a eight, and I forgot to do that. I am dumb. I'm sorry, guys. Um, normally I don't allow some stupidity in real life, but you know when it comes to Minecraft, I'll tolerate it. So we take one, and now we place it in. So now all the mobs will flow into this corner. So I don't want it to be that corner. I want it to be this corner. So. Now, every time a mob or a zombie, every time a zombie spawns, it'll just be going, it'll throw down here, and it'll go right into this corner. And what, also another thing that monsters try to do is they try to swim in water. So what I'm realizing, they, I don't, I'm not sure how much they can fight the current, but I think it'll, it's safe to drop, it'll, I want to be safe, I'm going to drop this down one more. So, if you want to test this in your cheaty world, you can, but I'm just going to be safe and have them drop down one. And then they'll all be pushed into this corner. And now I'm trying to think, what do I want them to do once they're in this corner? I know I want them up a mob evader. Okay, I know how I'm going to get them up the mob evader without creating problems. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place a ladder here so that the monsters don't swim up and then swim into there. And I'm also going to place a ladder here. No, here. I'm going to need some. Oh, God, I'm sorry, guys. This is just me being clumsy. Toby being clumsy once again. Okay. So let's build that. And now the water, if I put a ladder here, I think it should stay. Let's uh, swim back. Get another water block. And here we go. This sh this water should stay. Interesting, interesting properties right here. So this water is diagonally floating into there, so one mob might already be uh, getting an early ride into this mob evader. That's convenient. So now what I have to think is... Okay, done thinking. The mobs uh, don't swim on ladders, so they're gonna do is they're just gonna swim through here. I can get rid of this block now, by the way. And they can swim up there. And I'm hoping that they don't swim away. That's my hope. Never know with these crazy mobs in Minecraft, though. But there you go. They just swim up this mob evader. And I'm gonna make two water blocks. And then a ladder. So... Water block, ladder. So then that they're gonna have to swim, I'm gonna have to make a tunnel up here. And there we go. Make more water blocks right here. So the water will just God, I am I need to get these buckets in my inventory, really. Okay. Got the buckets in my inventory. Get to get the water. And we will make it continuously up this thingy my bubber. And we have to make it a complete source box. Let's just make sure that's not downward flowing water. It's downward flowing water. Dang it! Sorry guys. To be being stupid, stupid. I could make this all water, but the mob but uh, the zombies will drown. And we don't want drowning zombies. That's drowning zombies is by a okay. I'm thinking it's best to get rid of these ladders. I want these mobs to flow into one place. Okay. So now I just need to get these solid blocks into my inventory. Alright, so... Uh, really happy I lit this place up well enough so that mobs aren't spawning in here. Doing a good job trapping this. Okay. There we go. Mob should swim up there. And let's put a block there. Um, uh, the reason I'm just going to take down these ladders is because I'm afraid that mobs will just try to fall out. And I don't want the falling out mobs. 
That that's bad. Okay. Falling out mobs is bad. Okay. So now I'm gonna be down here. I can probably take out that ladder too. Oh, the goodies. Okay. This is probably one of my most painful things to watch. So, yeah. Hope you're enjoying the pain. Actually, don't. If you're enjoying the pain, then you need to see a therapist. Go to the therapist right now. Okay. Let's get rid of the ladders. This one, anyway. Block. Okay. So, I'm gonna make it all the way up as high as I can in here. Okay, I, I can't see right now. This is not good. I, I can't see. And I don't want to drown. And I can't see. Okay. Shouldn't need those anymore. So that torch shouldn't bother anything. Shouldn't disturb the forces of nature. Um, let's... I, I need to find a way to get light in here. Because this part... That's dirt. What is taking so long for that to just destroy? It should only be dirt. I'm gonna drown. I'm gonna drown. Okay. This is not going... This is not as easy as I expected. It's okay. Nobody said everything would be easy. So, I'm going to show you a different way. As I said in the first episode, the title, a new strategy, always have to have a plan B for this and this is my plan B I'm gonna make a room off to the side and I'm just gonna tunnel straight up and I think I land in the same cave okay keep going up up and out up and out up up and out up and out up up and out up and out up up and out I think that that is the surface. Hopefully that's the surface. Hopefully that's the surface. And if by time is correct, it should be night time. Okay, so that's gonna be tricky, but I need I I know how to mark this off, okay. I have to dig a hole straight down. And I have to be safe about this. Oh no, I'm not being safe. Okay, no mob should attack me. So now I just have to keep digging straight down until I reach my destination. <coughs> Took one heart of damage, but it's okay because I'm gonna land in water next. And then the rest should be pretty easy. Especially since ladders, you can climb with spaces in between. That makes it really easy. Okay, per we're uh, descending, 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 and I think I'm... This definitely seems too deep. Yeah, I missed. Sorry guys, I missed. I think. I think I missed. I'm gonna have to go back down there and see what I did wrong. Okay. Which way do I, I want it to be there, don't I? That was my issue. Okay, I know how to do this now, though. Stop teasing me, stop teasing me. You better stop teasing me. Dum 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 dum. It appears the sun is coming up, so this is going to be a multi day project multi-episode project and if you're watching this long the next episode's not going to come out until next week you may ask why well the reason is because I'm not recording this today I recorded this last week and I'm I have since gone away so I, I'm trying to get record enough episodes so that you guys can get an episode once a week while I'm gone and I'm not going to be back until, I think, August 17th, August 18th, something like that. So, while I'm gone, um, you'll get an episode every, uh, every, 
Whatever they're called, Mondays. But don't worry, this isn't a Minecraft Monday series. Those suck. Nobody likes Minecraft Mondays. Those are dumb. Dum dum da ba da ba dum 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 ba da da ba ba da ba da ba dum dum. Minecraft Mondays are dumb. Okay. But don't worry, the series is coming out on Monday. But it's not dumb. It's not a Minecraft Mondays. No, it's not. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm going on a stupid. I'm going on a stupid streak. Let's get these ladders out. Ladders at the ready. Okay. So you'll see the completed, or me completing it in the next episode next week. If you enjoyed this, uh, I don't know, whatever this is, let's play. If you're enjoying learning how to make a spawner, or enjoying the let's play, or enjoying my commentary, or just in, want to enjoy me, please leave a thumbs up, please subscribe, or if you hate it, please comment about how much you hate it, and about how stupid I am, and leave a thumbs down. And, um, convince other people not to subscribe. Alright. Adios, amigos.